Hey there, investors. Welcome to another insightful session where we dive deep into the world of finance and investments. Today, let's talk about a crucial aspect of investing, protecting your hard-earned money. It's not just about making profits. It's about safeguarding what you've earned. In the stock market, it's not always about hitting home runs or making big gains. Sometimes, the best strategy is to play defense and ensure you don't lose what you've already gained. This is where the concept of hedging comes into play. Hedging is like having a safety net for your investments, a way to manage and mitigate risks. So, what exactly is hedging? Think of it as a form of insurance for your stocks. Just like you wouldn't drive a car without insurance, you shouldn't invest without a hedging strategy. Hedging involves using financial instruments like options, futures and other derivatives to offset potential losses in your portfolio. It's a way to protect yourself from market volatility. Imagine you have a diverse portfolio of stocks. By using hedging techniques, you can safeguard your investments against unexpected market downturns. It's like having a shield that absorbs the impact of sudden market changes. The stock market can be unpredictable, with prices fluctuating due to various factors like economic data, geopolitical events, and market sentiment. A sudden downturn can wipe out your gains if you're not prepared. Without a hedging strategy, a significant market drop can lead to substantial losses. But with hedging, you have a plan in place to minimize those losses and protect your investments. Hedging helps you sleep at night, knowing you have a plan to manage risks. It's about being proactive and prepared, so you can navigate the ups and downs of the market with confidence. So, next time you think about investing, remember the importance of hedging. It's not just about making money, it's about protecting it too. Talk to your financial advisor about the best hedging strategies for your portfolio. With the right hedging techniques, you can achieve a balanced and secure investment strategy. Happy investing and remember to hedge your bets. So, how do we hedge? 1. Powerful Tool Options Options are a versatile financial instrument that can be used in various ways to manage risk and enhance returns. They are not just for professional traders. Even individual investors can use them effectively. Options are contracts that give you the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell a stock at a specific price, the strike price, by a specific date, the expiration date. This flexibility allows investors to tailor their strategies to their specific needs and market outlooks. There are two main types of options, calls and puts. Calls give you the right to buy a stock, while puts give you the right to sell a stock. These two types of options can be combined in various ways to create complex strategies that can profit in different market conditions. Calls let you buy a stock, while puts let you sell. For example, if you believe a stock's price will rise, you might buy a call option. Conversely, if you think the price will fall, you might buy a put option. This ability to profit from both upward and downward movements in stock prices makes options a powerful tool for investors. Think of calls as betting the stock will go up and puts as betting it will go down. However, it's important to remember that options are not without risk. The price of an option can be affected by various factors, including the underlying stock's price, the time remaining until expiration, and market volatility. Therefore, it's crucial to understand these factors and how they interact before trading options. Options can also be used to hedge existing positions. For instance, if you own a stock and are concerned about a potential decline in its price, you could buy a put option to protect against losses. This is known as a protective put strategy. Similarly, if you have a short position in a stock, you could buy a call option to guard against potential price increases. In summary, options are a powerful and flexible tool that can be used to manage risk, enhance returns, and hedge existing positions. Whether you're a seasoned trader or a novice investor, understanding how options work and how to use them effectively can help you build a more resilient and profitable investment portfolio. Let's break down some key options terms. The strike price is your target price for buying or selling the stock. The expiration date is the deadline for exercising your option. The premium is the price you pay for the option. Think of it like an insurance premium. And remember, 
options have limited risk. The most you can lose is the premium you paid. Why hedge with options? First, risk management. Options limit your downside potential, acting as a buffer against market swings. Second, flexibility. Options give you more control over your investments, allowing you to tailor your strategies to your specific needs and goals. Third, cost effectiveness. Options can be cheaper than buying or selling large amounts of stock outright. Section 5. Infosys, a real-world hedging story. Let's look at Infosys, a leading Indian IT company. Say you own Infosys shares at 1500 rupees. You're worried about a potential market dip. You could buy put options with a strike price of 1450 rupees expiring in one month. If the stock falls below 1450 rupees, your put options will increase in value, offsetting your losses in the stock. Section 6. Reliance Industries Hedging a Volatile Giant Reliance Industries, a conglomerate with interests in energy, petrochemicals and telecom, can be volatile. Imagine you're bullish on Reliance but concerned about short-term fluctuations. You could implement a covered call strategy. You'd sell call options against your Reliance shares with a strike price above the current market price. This generates income and provides some downside protection. Section 7. Protective Puts and Covered Calls – Your Hedging Toolkit Protective puts and covered calls are popular hedging strategies. They are essential tools for investors looking to manage risk and enhance returns in their portfolios. A protective put, like in our Infosys example, is like buying insurance for your stock. When you purchase a protective put, you are essentially setting a floor for your potential losses. This means that no matter how much the stock price drops, you have a guaranteed minimum price at which you can sell your shares. It limits your downside risk while letting you participate in potential upside moves. This strategy is particularly useful in volatile markets where the risk of significant price drops is high. By using protective puts, you can sleep better at night knowing that your investments are safeguarded against severe downturns. A covered call, as we saw with Reliance, generates income and provides limited downside protection. When you write a covered call, you sell a call option on a stock you already own. This allows you to earn a premium, which can be a source of additional income. However, it also means that your potential gains are capped if the stock price rises significantly. It's a good strategy if you're cautiously optimistic about a stock. If you believe the stock will remain relatively stable or experience modest gains, a covered call can be an effective way to boost your returns. However, it's important to remember that this strategy does not offer the same level of protection as a protective put. Therefore, it's crucial to carefully assess your market outlook and risk tolerance before implementing these hedging techniques. Section 8. HDFC Bank and TCS Hedging in Action Let's consider HDFC Bank. You're bullish long term but want to protect against a potential market correction. Buying put options on HDFC Bank can provide that safety net. For TCS, imagine you own shares and want to generate extra income. Selling covered calls against your TCS position can achieve this while offering limited downside protection. Section 9. The Bottom Line Options. Protect your portfolio. Options are powerful tools for hedging your investments. They offer risk management, flexibility, and cost effectiveness. By understanding options basics and key strategies, you can protect your portfolio from unexpected market swings. Remember, hedging is not about avoiding risk altogether. It's about managing risk effectively so you can stay invested and achieve your financial goals. Section 10. Take charge. Become an options pro. Don't let the fear of the unknown hold you back. Start exploring options today. There are tons of resources available to help you learn. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand about options, the better equipped you'll be to navigate the markets and protect your investments. Now go out there and make some money.